Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build! Now, first of all, I'm sorry it's been a week or more. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this since I'm recording it almost a week after I uploaded the thing. But in any case, sorry for uh, not putting a video up in a while. Two things happened, one of which is... And the irony here is in my last video I was laughing at uh, all all you lovely people in the Northern Hemisphere because uh, you've got lovely winter weather right now and down here in New Zealand it's quite sunny. I proceeded then to get either minor heat stroke or serious heat exhaustion. Like, Google what those two are, there is a difference, thankfully. I'm okay now, but it really sucks. In the, so about, for about, ooh, Two and a half days, I was very sick and couldn't do anything. The other reason is work. So that's why I haven't done anything for a wee while, but it's fine, it's fine, we're all here, I'm alive in time for Christmas. And so today I thought, well, let's do a let's build, because it's been a wee while since we've done one, and somebody requested that I do, I actually can't remember what they are, so well done me for forgetting. Uh, very intent of me, what uh, they wanted to either see a cruiser or a destroyer being built. Which is a wee bit of a challenge since I've never built either of those things. In fact, the craft I build don't really have a... When you, well, just looking at them, you can't really categorize them in real world terms because they're just kind of weird. And just, I don't know, the craft I make tend to be specialized, like super specialized, so... Eh. Or just have cram cannons and torpedoes on them. Whatever. So in any case, I have taken the time to design a gun, an APS turret, for this cruiser. And I took the rather interesting step of designing the turret cap first. Just because, you know, you know what, I'm tired of just improvising that after building the rest of the gun. I wanted to make something that looked somewhat decent, and this is somewhat decent. It's not amazing, but it's a, I should get a disclaimer here, nothing I build in these episodes I guarantee to be amazing. That's, that's covering my arse more than anything else, because uh, frankly, building with an hour time limit and with everybody watching you, I don't have time to min-max everything. I, like, and it's boring to watch, frankly, me trying to make everything perfect. So, here we are, I like to do the min-maxing off-screen, but here is the turret itself. It is not super well armored, there's just one layer of metal on top of it, and the mantlets are exposed. This is actually not a good idea, do not do this yourself if you uh, want your gun to survive very well. I just did it because, frankly, it kind of looks cool, and this is meant to be a cruiser anyway, it's not meant to be incredibly tanky. In fact, I think cruisers are really made of paper. But in any case, it's got a whole bunch of coolers, and this is not a... Belt Blaster, as they tend to be called. This is just, it's just got regular autoloaders in it. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. It would be very explosive, except the shells it's going to use are a tiny, tiny little Hess shell. And so the gun size is about 265 millimeters, so medium gauge. Going all the way to 500, that's real overkill battleship size. We can do that on another time. But in any case, this is a piddly little shell. It's not amazing, the thump damage isn't amazing, the spalling metric isn't amazing because it's just a squash head, a base bleed, and a gunpowder casing. Not a spectacularly heavy shell, but it does the trick quite nicely anyway because, because Hesh is, well, it doesn't care about uh, spaced armor and the heavier the armor value of whatever material it's shooting at, the more damage it does. And yeah, so Hesh is actually pretty good at pretty much any gauge. I find, or at least in most gauges, if you go below, like, well, you go below 80 millimeters, you're pushing it, but it go does pretty well. And the great thing is, it still works without any high explosive behind it. The other one is a little bit bigger. This is just a shaped charge head, an initial fuse to gunpowder, so a little bit bigger. The same speed, because I've had to dial the gunpowder down back here. This is a handy trick, by the way. If you've got a, a APS turret like this one that uh, is two separate guns in the same turret. There's two things you can do. You can either stick local weapon controllers inside the gun itself. So, say you'd stick one over here and get it to... Actually, I could I could do that. Actually, no, I couldn't. Never mind. Not with the way I've set it up here. 
You could have a local weapon controller out right here, and one here, each controlling the firing piece separately, or even just one right in the middle here, controlling both of them uh, separately from each other, just so if you have two shells that are different accuracies or speeds, they can both be controlled properly. You could do that, or you could do what I've done here, and this is the lazy way, you can just make it so that uh, the guns, the shells move at the same speed. Which isn't perfect, because they're, you can see here that they're not the same accuracy, so this one, I think this is the Hesh uh, side, so yep, that's the Squash Head. So the Squash Head, that's an accuracy of about 0 0.199, which is very good accuracy by the way, it doesn't miss easily. And the other one is about, just uh, about 50% roughly, not really, it's uh, slightly more inaccurate. It's a 0 0.244. I'm not gonna bother with the math, because no matter what I do, people will... I don't know. People will laugh, and they'll laugh anyway for me avoiding math. Durr. Life is hard. So any case, so this is our little gun, and I'll just do a little test fire right here. The mortar's behind me, isn't it? Yes! That's a good test fire. So the damage isn't amazing, but it does the job. It does the job quite nicely. In fact, this really... Keeping in mind the Marauder is uh, made of wood, uh, which is basically cardboard in this game, unless you really layer it well. And just... Uh, rapid Fire Heat Hash is a really good combination. And uh, for the people who like their guns really optimized, these guns have slightly different cooldowns on them, so they don't fire at the same time. I don't mind that, I know some people do. And you are gonna have to live with it, because I actually quite like this. I like one going bang, and the other one going bang. I'm a simple man with simple pleasures, and that's why I play this fiendishly complicated game. So, okay, are you dead yet, sir? Yes, you are dead. You are dead, dead, dead. Like that one video game where that song played. Okay, so that is the arm um, the main armament that's gonna be on the ship is these two guns. I've spent almost 10 minutes showing these off already. So I'm just gonna save this right here, cruiser gun test. We're gonna destroy that and we're gonna get busy. Now, this is not something I've done in my other let's build so far, of which it's just still just the two, I think. It was that uh, little uh, smallish airship. The uh what did I call that? I forgot what I called it. Uh, the Stig. Yeah, that's what I ended up calling it. Which is kind of crap, so uh, don't ask about that one. And the Stig and the uh, Skink Mark II, which is slightly less crap. So, with those craft, I made the hull first. That you can't... Well, here's the thing. Like, people like to argue about, like, how you should build a craft. I really should have done this first. Hold on. Making absolutely sure that I get the right freaking gun off them. So here... So in any case, people argue about uh, what exactly... Uh, how, what order you should build your ships in. Like, should you build the weapons first? Should you build the hull first? And all that stuff. The, the answer I go with is it depends on your building style. And it depends on what you're building exactly. Because... It varies. I've had good results with either, and I've also had spectacular failures with either, so... It really depends on what mood you're in today, because that's... Uh, I've had ships in which I've built the guns first, and it's worked out very well, because I've managed to figure out how big the whole thing's gonna be from there. And I've had other ships in which I've built the hull first, and it's worked out pretty fine. Just, uh, I've made weapons to fit, and it's turned out okay. I've always... yeah. So, it varies a lot. Like, your results may vary. Consult your doctor if anything weird happens. Especially when building ships. Okay, so here we're going to start. We are... for this craft, we're going to build place one turret first. That's probably too wide, actually. And I've recently had good results as far as armor scheme goes. This is meant to be a cruiser. It's meant to be light. So it's mostly going to be light alloy. So light alloy with a bit of wood on top just for looks. And so we're just going to do this. Do, 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 do. And we're going to trim this off. Really should have painted the entire turret in there because then I could see easily what is uh, the hull itself and what's this sub-object, this turret right here. 
Oh well. Oh well. What can you do with a BA in English? That's a weird thing to say. Two. And one, two. Okay, so that's one turret bit. And we're going to build it out from here. So, this, how wide is this thing? This thing's already 10 meters long and 30 meters wide. I don't know how well this build's going to go. This is definitely not going to be done in one hour, so I'm not going to rush it. Go here. And what else can we talk about? So, I tend to find that in this game, unless you really know what you're doing and you take full advantage of... I don't want to say the more meta systems in this game, but uh, at the very least, the more effective systems in this game. Yeah, I'm changing my mind here, by the way. Ignore me. Is I tend to find that any form of ship, anything that is a surface displacement vessel, as in it doesn't go ludicrously fast and it doesn't go... And it, what, what, yeah, what was I going to say? It doesn't go stupidly fast and it doesn't fly. I tend to find that it does. It is not as effective as. Okay, let me order my thoughts here because I'm trying to build and talk at the same time. That is hard. It's just that ships, weirdly enough, in this game that is mostly about building ships, are not as good as the other things you can build. Like airships are a spectacularly good way to go. Submarines are a very good way to go. And what else? Uh, planes, I find, tend to be quite crap and don't uh, deliver as per their cost that much, but I'm willing to be proven wrong about that. There are effective planes in here, in this game. And just to interrupt myself, this is the deck I'm planning to use because, frankly, I like wood as a deck. It looks good. I know it's possibly not an effective... It's not the most effective deck armor you could have. In fact, it's pretty bad. Wood is cardboard. A layer, a double layer of alloy or metal plus alloy would work better, but I want to make a light cruiser, darn it. Or a light-ish cruiser, because people are inevitably going to come in and say, like, Oh, it's not light, it's too big. For those people, I would like you to uh, have a wonderful Christmas and a lovely day and also shut up. So, what was the thing? Oh yeah, so ships tend not to work as well as other things. I tend to find the most effective craft to make are very fast-moving airships, like big things that fly fast, right up until lasers become a thing, in which case, never mind. So, what happens when that turret cooks off? It's, uh, I'm finding that uh, it's probably going to be okay with uh, this amount of stuff, but who knows. And let's just place engines so far. How much room do... Uh, one, two, three, four. I do not have room for double whammy of my favorite engine type. And this is... Uh, I don't know if this engine here is called a blue line engine. I know blue line engines are a thing. I don't know if this is the one. I got it off a very handy prefab. How long is this thing now? This thing's 34 meters long. That's fine. That's A. Okay. We are good in the hood. We're good in the neighborhood. So in any case, I don't know if this is the blue line engine, but I call it that. And it is a very lovely engine because it's very efficient and also very powerful. It's also not... It's... Well, it's big. It is pretty darn big. But it's, uh... Could be worse. And probably... I should probably st stick an air gap and spool liner right there. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to... Plonk this thing down so I know where it is. And stick some fuel just on the side here so I don't forget. It's always embarrassing when I think, like, when I've almost finished a thing and then I get it, try and get it to move, and I'm like, huh, why isn't this thing moving? The answer usually is, is I forgot to put fuel on it. That goes back a long way with my From the Depths excavates. So that's, uh, that is not going to work at all. Let's do this because this is a hash explosion that's going to happen right next to you. So let's do this. Probably should do that over here as well, just in case. In fact, yeah, this is a good idea. I wasn't planning on doing that, but, you know, that's a good thought. Well done, me. <laughs> well done, me. Look at me being self-congratulating already. So if you're wondering what this is, this is uh, spaced armor, because a few updates ago, 
uh, this game, they uh, changed the hitboxes for slopes because it used to be just the space it occupied. That was the block, so it was essentially only for looks and aero slash hydrodynamics. That's all slopes were good for. Now, this is a genuine air gap in here, which means for no actual wasted space, there's no like one, two air gap over here. No wasted space, you can have an air gap that, hel that helps counter heat and hash, which is really good. And it means that uh, armoring your craft now is a fine science that I just put those slopes in backwards. That's not good. Okay, and the reason I'm sticking slopes over here is because this turret is full of heat and hash shells. I don't know where the fragments are going to go. They're possibly going to go down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's see here. How have I arranged... Oh no, they're gonna go all over the place. So if this goes kablooey, if these things explode, they're gonna go backwards and forwards, which is not good. Backwards, forwards, and sideways. So yeah, putting an air gap into here is probably a very good idea. It's probably gonna wreck the engine anyway, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Well, you're not gonna do anything about it. I should probably do something about it, because I'm building this thing. Okay, so this is going well, and so we have engine, 8,000 engine power, that should do the trick for this. I don't intend to go mental with it. I don't plan to stick lambs or anything on it uh, as of right now, but yeah, I might do that later, we'll have to see. I don't want this thing to be too big, I am going to stick a big stone AI box on it, and let's see, let's see how much space uh, amount of space. Let's do this. Now, this uh, AI box is a prefab I made ages ago. It's deliberately overkill. It has a lot of general processing power, and it's uh, just sent up the cost of this thing by about 10,000 or so, because general purpose processing cards are very expensive, and that is purely to stop people spamming remote guided missiles, which I think might be a wee bit overpowered right now. It's... Well, I don't know. I haven't mucked around with remote guided missiles. They don't seem to work much better than any other kind of missile. It's just that countermeasures don't work on them. And I actually am planning to put remote guided missiles on here because, uh... Planning to stick both simple laser turrets and remote guidance on here. So, that'll be very nice. So, here we go. We're gonna do this and this, 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 this. This, 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 Okay, so there's our spall liner. How long is this thing? This thing is... I keep thinking this thing's longer than it actually is. I keep thinking, oh god, it's over 100 meters long, here we go. But it's not, we're good, we're good name, but I am gonna prefab the lovely box I just made here. This lovely box. This lovely box, I say. Pardon the Sean Connery impression. So, let's see, let's go here. Not that, that's the ammo for this thing. That's important. Let's go length 19, height thir 13, and width 19. Is that a big enough box? That is overkill box. You can dial that down a little bit, so height. E -e 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 -e. Is that gonna be... Want, baby! Stick that. It's possibly not my best move, but okay, let's do. Is that all gonna stick? Yes, it is! So, particularly when making larger craft, if this is. Uh, I don't think anybody told me this. I think I kind of stumbled on this myself, but prefabs are your best friend when it comes to stuff like this, so. Do that. And what have I done here? This is weird. So there is that. What have I done here? Oh boy. What is going on here? Right here. Huh. That's interesting. Do do do. Okay, that is no worries, because we're going to do this. Uh, 
There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have a hole for our other turret here, I believe. And this is a 5 by 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, I should check this. Aha! There's a hole here that I didn't know about. There we go, and there we go. And also, it's a little bit like writing an essay. You want to proofread what you do here. Because uh, if you do not, you will make mistakes that will hang around and you'll find them out at the worst possible time. You don't want that. So let's see here. One, two, three, down here. Down to the kitchen at midnight. And here we go, and here we go. Will she fit? That looks weird. Let's uh, try that again. She will fit. By the hair of my chinny chin chin. How's that? Okay, so we got our two guns in place and uh, wow. That only took 20 minutes. Building the weapons ahead of time, I tell ya, it is a good idea. It is a very schmert idea. Schmert, schmert. So, dun, 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 dun. Tons of gold for me, hey! Tons of gold for you, ooh! Okay, so we're going good here. We can actually finish up this hull. And this is already turning out uh, better armor than I thought it would be. This is not going to be... Okay, it's not... This isn't super good armor. It's essentially a double layer. And I just realized I don't have bloody spaced armor around the guns. That's annoying. That is, uh, in fact, a pain in the tush. I'm going to have to fix that right now. I might... This right here, I will. That already kind of counts as an air gap, though. Mm. Might do this and stick another layer on it. So, like, what's here? That is. That's the end of it. Uh, it can be sometimes a little hard. So, where's this? That's there. So, one more of those. So yeah, in, for those of you who don't know, Hesh is something to worry about. I can't remember any faction craft that is currently using Hesh, but uh, a lot of them use heat. So it's worth noting, worth being it's worth being paranoid about. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And for the record, heat is not... Um, I, in the past, have thought and said loudly that heat, not heat, uh, Hesh is overpowered. It isn't really overpowered. It is just meta, as in it's the thing everyone uses because it's all around reliable and it kind of laughs at armor. So I say I can say this from experience. A lot of the designs people have asked me to look at, both for subscriber craft review and just uh, randomly on the internet, uh, they a lot of them use Hesh simply because it's a it's just a very effective shell type. It does the job a lot better than a lot of other sh shell types do. It's better against armor than frag, it, uh, than frag or high explosive, actually, so that's worth noting. And we can do this, I think. Well, that's a double layer of metal. It's already more than I wanted to do. Okay, that should be good. It's There's no spaced armor up the top, but uh, I don't intend for this thing to get shot from straight down. It, how expensive is this? It's a, I don't know how expensive this thing's going to be. It'll probably be... If it gets uh, underneath 100k materials, I will be happy, but it's probably going to be a little bit more than that. In which case, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to die. I'm going to leave some room in here, just so I can stick things that I always forget about. Okay, let's finish up, uh... What the hell? Okay, that's the front. What the hell? I've built this bloody thing backwards. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I want the AI to be slightly towards... more towards the rear. Because, well... If it's in the rear, it's that usual thing that, uh... Shots that lead the target are more likely to miss, so I'm just gonna save this as it is. I'm gonna rotate it. This is always a fun. If you didn't know, you can, if you stuff up like this, you can uh, do that. You can rotate it. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. That's my big flare canoe. Don't worry about that. That'll show up later if it ever does. And, and we'll just call this cruiser thing. 
go, there we go, and destroy everything, and load cruiser thing, and yes, and once more. And if I load it in again, Ayo! Excellent! And she is sinking. That's, that's fine. We can deal with that. So now what we want to do, we want to finish off uh, in closing... You see, this is another thing with me recording me building. It's a weird feeling because... Like, you know... Uh, like, I change my mind a lot and I don't often build to a plan. So as of now, I'm just going like, what do I need to do? Oh, I should do this, I should do that, I should do this and that. Everyone loves a landlord. I was just uh, at work the other day and I was uh, talking to a guy who is a huge fan of Les Miserables and it's made me kind of want to go back and uh, watch it, find the music somewhere because it's really good. If you haven't seen Les Miserables, it's, uh, it's quite a good time. I reckon that's not the right material. What are you doing, Borderwise? It's quite a good time. Like, musicals are fun. Musicals are good for the soul. Okay, so that is... Crunchy, crunchy frame rate. Okay, so how are we doing? We are... Ah, we're only 50 mi This thing's gonna be tiny! Okay, and so if you're wondering where I'm gonna stick the ammunition, don't worry, I got you, babe. So we're going to... Stick it like... I should stick the ammunition in the rear. But... I'm tired of doing that. I do that all the time now with builds, and I want to do an old favorite, which is ammo keels, so... What we're gonna do is we're going to do this. So down this thing's whole length, and uh, for those of you who uh, hate using heavy armor, like, I'm terribly sorry, but uh, that is how this is gonna go now. Do 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 do. Do 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 Okay, this is possibly not the best idea of the head, but that's okay. And the great thing about using heavy armor keels, as what I'm doing right now, I haven't also worked out how much ammo I'm going to need, so, uh... This thing might not have any missiles on it. That might be, uh... Something with, uh... I don't know. I don't know, man, I just work here. So, let's see, let's uh, just plug this hole with a... Whoop. And probably people are going to say, like, Borderwise, you're doing it wrong. I do know that I'm probably doing things wrong here. I just don't know how. When you tell me, tell me in a way that's uh, informative and doesn't take up thousands of uh, lines of commentary. That'll be very nice. And uh, that naturally, that's not what I'm going to get. Okay, so here's the thing. So, what we have here is a long double ammo keel here. And this thing is not going to float, like, as it is right now. That is uh, not going to happen. I'm gonna need to add a lot of- I'm planning to add a layer of alloy on the sides just so it floats and so it has some extra armor. However, so if you stick heavy arm- your ammo in heavy armor, what you can do is you can- every so often, you could fill all this with ammo and have lots of ammo, but what I'm gonna do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm gonna just put one of these down here and I think this should still block it? I'm not sure. I don't think it will, actually, so let's do... Ah, crud. Okay, let's do this instead, just so we can be absolutely sure, and also so it looks cool, because we like that. Yay, there we go. So every 11 or so, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we won't worry about that. So what that means is, is that these are separate little ammo compartments now, and this wee heavy armor block is not is too strong to be taken out just by ammo barrel explosions. So what this acts is a little explosion plug, which means, say, if uh, this section gets uh, destroyed. The chain reaction isn't going to run down the whole length of the ship. It's just going to be stopped here, and these ones will be safe. This is a really good way of just delaying the inevitable demise of your craft. And also, I should mention, 
always do 100% seals on ammo compartments like this. So this uh, the ammo is going to be completely surrounded by heavy armor because if you do not do that, what you will find is that the weaker materials get destroyed really easily. I've mentioned this many, many times um, throughout the whole thing. What is going on here? Excuse you. Let's do this instead. So in here, what does that look like? That looks good. That looks very good. So out here we have spaced armor. Out here we also have some spaced armor. Yeah, spaced armor all around. Probably overkill. Like, Hesh doesn't come from that many angles. Okay, so that's our weird looking ammo compartment right there. Actually, we can go one more. We can go one more. What is going on here? Done. What the fudge? What the knobs? I'm losing track. I am spacing out a little bit. It is hot here. I cannot focus for the life of me. Uh, that's what I was meant to do. I was meant to switch these around so they bloody work. I hope that actually works. Uh, an axe, doom, doom. Ugh, do explosion streak. That is, they will. They will totally do that. So let's do this. Oh shite! Shite on a cracker. There we go. That blocked. Ugh, tiny gap. Uh, see, I don't know. I don't know, bruv. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Two, and... Buckle my shoe. Three, four, close the door. Can you please? Thank you. Whatever's down here, let's do that. I'm being overly paranoid right now, but I really do not want this, uh whole a huge ammo compartment, two of them to chain react. How are we doing? Oh, we're halfway through our allotted time on this earth. That's great. That is fan Debbie dozy in fact. But that's okay. We're tough. We're mean. We're bright yellow and green. We're not, actually. I just made that up. Okay, finally we can stick some ammunition in here. I always go for... Ammo? I don't really see the point of ammo barrels, per se, because there's only one... Point you can attach them, see here, can't attach, can't attach, can't attach, can't attach, blah blah blah, can attach. Whereas this thing you can attach all over the place. I think ammo barrels are really just for looks more than anything else. It would look a little bit weird if the deep water guard used these modern looking boxes for everything. And this might be too much ammo for what we've got here. These days I try not to use ammo, ammo processors unless I absolutely have to. But, yes, yeah, so how much ammo is that? That's a decent amount. It begs the question of, uh, though, whether that is enough. So, let's go here, and let's just drop this down. This is going to be quite a tall little ship here. Which is alright, I guess, because I keep being criticized for making ships too flat. Which I don't see the problem with, because I love flat ships. Like... You keep your busty ships to yourself. I love that uh, sweet svelte flatness. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. Never make jokes like that. It's uh, it is derogatory to women. So, okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, what is going on here? What is going on? Am I being? Let's be consistent. Consistency is nice. The world's not. Uh, I was about to say the world's not consistent enough. The world is plenty consistent a lot of the time. It's just that it's not consistent when I want it to be. So let's go here. And hopefully this thing won't need a PID to stop it rolling because it's got a massive keel down here. And this is this this is just gonna be empty space down here, I reckon. So what can you do? And if I do this now, if I just stick an air pump here and see off the deck, this thing should float. It should, but you never know. There's a fair amount of heavy armor on it, so it might not. 
And yeah, I always try and have two meters of deck armor, so because well, deck armor, like you don't have to go overboard with it, but it still helps if the deck is reasonably tough. Stops the odd plunging shot from ruining your life. And it just means you could also means you can have a wooden deck and not worry about it. Do do do. Also, with deck armor, it's often is one of the last things of the ship to get destroyed when being shot at from the side, because, yeah, sure, from down, this is not thick armor, it's just a layer of wood and a layer of metal. From the sides, look what you have to deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six layers of stuff, and that all stacks if you're shooting at it directly from the side. I could actually show you that, really. So let's do that, and let us complete... Ah, screw it, let's see if this... Uh, let's see if this thing floats. It's, uh... What's it doing? It is not floating quite yet, but it's staying upright in the water, which is a good start. It is a very good start, in fact, and if need be, I can stick PIDs or Deddy Blades or something on this so it actually does float. Which will be very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so, what are we doing now? We are finishing off sealing this front bit. Let's focus on the front. Let's focus on the front right here. Double layer of metal. Let's do this. Let's start rounding it off as soon as possible because I'm tired of making things that are too bloody long for their own good. And let's make you like so. Ah, shit. Shakes! No when to use shift click. No when not to. Deary me. Always watch. Let's turn the torch on. Oh yeah, Shift L activates uh, the... What, do, what are they calling it? They're calling it the... Shift L enabled the head torch. So that just means that it... Uh, ever since they added like dynamic shadows to this game, it can be quite hard to see what you're doing. So in order to assist all of us with uh, that thing, uh, they've added a torch, which is very nice. It means I can see what I'm doing. And I know I was, I was gonna finish off the front, and here I am doing the underside. And uh, double layer of metal on the underside again. Pro you know what? Torpedoes are freaking powerful in this game right now, and this is a, just by accident, by the way. I didn't mean to do this. This is a damp space. So what this is is this is a thing that's used in real life ships. Actually, it is a section on the bottom, in the bottom of the hull of the ship, that is deliberately flooded. And it acts as a keel. It just means that there's weight down on the bottom of the ship, keeps it upright in the water, stops it from leaning from the side to side. I should really use that more because it is... I don't know if it's actually more effective than just making the bottom heavier. It might be. I'm not sure. So let's go here. Let's do this and that. And that, 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 that. And that, and that. And that's where the rounding will start. Are we at the front? Yes, we are. Cool. So now, I'm not going to go mad with uh, the pointiness of this, because I've learned the hard way that's not actually a good idea. And let's go one, two, three, and two meter slopes. Two, four, and... So, okay. So that is the front a ship that is a very quick, nasty way to do a bow, not a boo, as some people say, and by some people I mean just me. I'm the only one who sometimes goes, hee <laughs> hee, bow. No, it is a bow. Bow, wow, 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 I'm a dog. Okay, let's go here now. Let's... Yes! Always try and have at least two layers of armor on everything. Doesn't matter what the material is, just two layers is better than just one. Unless it's like one layer of metal versus two layers of wood, or even then, for some reason, I'd be not that yeah, bloody numpty. This! Because this thing still will get shot at the front. It will happen. It will... I didn't go all the way down. Didn't go all the way down! What kind of lover am I? Sorry, that was a filthy joke. Kids, do not repeat that. And if you're not old enough to understand yet, well, good. But, uh... Uh, ten years from now, you'll watch this video again, hopefully, and be like, wow, 
Waterwise, uh, Waterwise was funny, like, uh, back when he was alive. It's a pity you got killed by orangutans in a freak accident. Do do do. I might have had too much caffeine. Oh, jeez. I've got 20 minutes to do something interesting. Shake. Shakes. Cheese and crackers. Actually, ah, not wood. Ah, not wood, you fool. Not wood, you fool. Always check what you're actually building with. Okay, this thing's bow uh -huh. is going to be quite hard to get through by the feel of it. But that is okay, because you know what? If you've accidentally made something well armored, like, you should just count your blessings. There are unarmored people in, I don't know, Chicago, who would love to have this much armor on the front of their boat. And let's do a square thing here, and no, that's a terrible idea. What were you thinking, Borderwise? Let's just do that. Let's round it off nice and easy. And there we have, almost have a bow. We almost have a bow. I will never get tired of that particular piece of stupid wordplay, by the way. Bow, 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 wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I usually stick wedges right here, and I don't mean potato chips. Usually change my mind about this, but eh. So that is a bow right there. It's quite nice. And here we have... What? Let's seal this off. Okay, and then we can stick another... Well, I just seal off the turret, dude. Dude, what are you doing leaving your turret exposed? Like, what kind of... What kind of builder are you? Barbarian, I say. Sealing off your turret. Probably... Ah, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't build inside the turret. It won't be able to move. Okay, so there we sealed that off. We sealed that off. All of that off. We could have another wet gap right here. Well, this is a pretty wet-looking gap already. Okay, so we're gonna do this. That actually looks pretty cool down there. And by cool, I mean, what are you doing, you freaky person? This is not going to win any prizes for being pretty. Like, none of my craft are going to win prizes for being pretty. But that's okay. I'm not in the pretty market. I am in the functional first. And if it's functional, I just count my blessings and move on with my life market. I keep doing this. Ah, shakes. Did I mean to do this? Did I really mean to do this with my life? What is my life? Wood. How long is this? This is... Okay, 71 meters. There we go. Now we're... Oh, uh, goodness. Now we're cooking with charcoal. Now we're cooking with burgundy wine. Burgundy wine. That's probably a thing. That, uh... Actually, let's make this metal. Looks better. There we go. There we go. And there we go, I guess. Cool, that's looking nice, that's looking uh, peachy. I could, let's prefab all that, because I don't feel like doing that all that again. Where is our wall? Actually, no, let's, let us do all that again. But slightly differently, because... Nah, 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 not doing all that again. Efficiency, border-wise. If, efficiency, dear boy! You don't want to be here all day. How tall is this thing? It's 13 meters tall. Things, it's weird. Sometimes big things look small in this game, and some not that one. And sometimes small things are big, and it's weird. It's, it's, it's just weird. And width is how wide is this thing? This is... And length is, I don't know what, 19? 19! 19! You are the Dancing Queen, young and sweet, only 17. Or 19 in this case. Hey, the Dancing Queen's an old song. She could be 19 by now, for all you know. Probably older than that. Okay, so. So, so, ho, so, so. That was the lazy way of doing a prowl, but I am going to chop this bit off. Mostly so I can... Well, you don't need the... The... Not prowl, what does that one? The stern, that's it. I'm going to chop this off because it doesn't need to be so pointy, so I'm going to chop it. Where should I chop it off? Got four beams right here. I'm just going to... 
And go, 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 go. And go down here. Cut this all off. This can be quite satisfying, actually. Ah! Just uh, cutting something off. Yay! There you go. And now it's slightly... Oh god, this thing's almost 100 meters long. Oh no! It's almost 100 meters long. What is I gonna do? What's I, what I is gonna do is I'm gonna plug this butt. Plug that butt. You don't want an accident. Okay, plug the butt. Plug the butt. Plug the butt. How are we floating now? Got more air pumps. Oh yeah, this is why I love ammo keels. Simply because, since you're sticking such heavy materials, such as metal, heavy armor, whatever, since you're sticking it at the bottom, it just, it's, uh, it does two functions. It keeps it safe, and it just keeps it steady in the water. This is looking pretty good, and we've got 50 minutes to go. What on earth am I going to do with myself? It's still not uh, floating, per se, which is why I'm now going to stick some alloy on the sides. Let's see if that helps. I intended all along to stick alloy on this, and uh, there's a particular... Ah, see, the, this is where you have... It's a real... Pro it's not in many games, but uh, especially in From the Depths, there's always this... Uh, People are probably going to scream at... Actually, no. You're not allowed to scream at me for putting alloy over metal because that's actually quite smart. So... Like, within in games, there's always things that uh, people like to do even though it arguably doesn't work very well. And what I like to do is I like... There's a... Well, I'll show you right now. There's a particular kind of hole shape pattern I like to do. So... There's that... Not that, not that, not that, not that. That's up for one thing. Two, one, two. Okay, so it's this one. So it's it's alternating between a four meter slope and a four meter beam. So it looks like that. I love doing that. I really, really do. I do not know why. It just it just looks flowing and sleek. But it's arguably not effective because well reasons. I'm turning that torch on, blinding myself with alloy. So, this is gonna work very well. This thing's gonna, wow, this thing is a cruiser, and it, look at the armor it's gonna have. It's gonna have a double layer of metal right here. Three layers, actually, if you count the spacing. And then it's gonna have one, two, three. One, two, three layers of alloy. One, two, three. Wow. 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 And we're not even close to 100k yet, which is great, because I tend to find that propellers cost a hell of a lot of money. And also, if this arm is thick enough, it might be a, a decent way to stop Hesh, because there's two ways of preventing Hesh from ruining your life. One is to have Spore Liner, which is what I've kind of done. It's just a little air gap that uh, happens before you have important components, and basically it means the fragments spawn in that gap, and they don't blow out your engines or your AI or anything important. And... The, oh no, what have I done? What have I done? You fool. You fool, you fool. Do this first. Do this first, you fool. Okay, where was I? I was... Where was I? This might be hard. Nah, it won't be. It'll be good. We're fine, we're fine. What was I saying? Ah, oh, right. So you can do spore liner, that's one way to do it. Or, you can make armor so thick that uh, the Hesh thump doesn't reach all the way through. And it just, um, it uh, just the uh, fragments spawn on the outside of the craft. That's another way to do it. I'm kind of doing both here, so who knows if this is going to work well. This is actually turning out reasonably well. It might help me build well to talk to myself while I do this. And how big is this? This thing is... Well, it's not quite 90 meters long because uh, this thing doesn't update uh, immediately. The little uh, diagnostic thing right there. Shouldn't have done that. Should have done the internals first. Do, 
do 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 yes. Yes, they said it couldn't be done, except they no one said that because but uh, still I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> okay, do 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 I love alloy armor by the way. Just alloy is despite the fact that it looks like real crap, like the devs have tried multiple times to make alloy look pretty, and sorry to say it never really works well because it always looks like grey crap. But kudos to them for trying. And well, but, uh, the, but that's beside the point. The point is, I love this stuff. It is generally, like, think of it as advanced wood, because just a wooden block it floats, lightweight alloy block, and it, well, I just remember this now. This alloy is perfect for the need to be faster than favorite attackers. This stuff is very light and also very strong. It's like bird bone. So, alloy block is armor of 13, weight 5. Well, look at metal first. So, metal block. 350 health, armor 15, weight 40. Light alloy is almost as strong as metal. Well, it's not almost, it's like... Let's look at blocks instead, so... 2100... Uh, 2100 health, 15 armor, weight 160. Very tough. And lightweight alloy block is weight 1560, armor 13, weight 20. So it's got... Uh, math, 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 500... It's got roughly, roughly 600 less health than armor, uh, two less armor, is that right? Is that right, me? Yes, two less armor, but it is far, far lighter, and it floats. Which means that if you are being lazy, like uh, I tend to be, you just, if you can make just the whole craft out of alloy, then uh, your flotation problems are basically over. I need to do the fill on this side as well. Jolly, jolly good. Fill, you beautiful thing. Fill! Fill! And you also fill. And... You also fill. Fill tool, if you plan correctly. Very nice, very nice indeed. So I've essentially... Uh, every time I try and get away from canoes, I come back. It's quite a fat little thing now, isn't it? Uh, width 19, height 13. It's also quite a tall little thing. So let's see if this bad boy actually floats. You staying above the water, friend? Oh, are you leaning? Okay, he's got a wee bit of a jaunty lean on him. Oh, look at that, look at that, bless you, you are staying up in the water, that's all I could ask for. I could leave it right there, but, ooh. oh, you beautiful little guy. Beautiful. Rain, 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 rain. Okay, what else can I do here? What can I do? What can I do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna widen that wood purely for aesthetic reasons. You're at least for aesthetics, mind you. I'm gonna do this. Yes, I know this isn't a good idea. Be quiet. I think it looks cool. There. At some point, I might just have to, like, resign myself to not having a wooden deck on this thing, but you know what? Okay, so we have that, we have that, and I'm gonna stick the ammo somewhere. Where can I stick? Ammunition. I'm going to stick it near the AI, which is uh, not my best idea, but I'm going to stick it in its own little wooden place. Remember this? Ha! And this is going to just do this, and this, and this. And this, and this, because I do not want these things blown up, like, ever! <laughs> Okay, so if I do Flip. this now... Flip. Do these... are these things loaded? They are not. Okay, that's no worries, we can do this manually. And I'm gonna set firing restrictions on these turrets uh, later. When I can be bothered. I'll do that. That's really tedious and not exciting to watch, so I'm not gonna do that now. But yeah, you just activate this menu and muck around with this. Uh, that's the short version, so let's do on the left. We'll do. What? What? 
What? What? Ooh. Oh no. I goofed. I goofed horribly. Okay, let's try that again. Did I seriously not do this? That's no problem. Watch this. Watch this, I say. Hey, perfect. I could actually just encase the uh, the amp the AI in just a whole nother layer of metal, just in case. Might do that. Might do that. Yes. Yes. In fact, eh. Walk. This looks ugly. I know. I know it looks ugly. So let's do this just for giggles because the true art of aesthetics is making the inside of your craft as pretty as the outside. I can't do that. So now Thank let's me. do this now and see how we are. That still did not work. Nope. Okay. I was hoping these things would be loaded, uh, would just auto-load. That's not the right word. Okay, see, now we're getting into, oh goodness. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the thing. So now let's go here. Let's go here, because by gum we're not finishing until this thing. Uh... Okay, good, we didn't use all our ammunition immediately. That's very nice, very nice. Lovely jubbly. I'm just going to temporarily... I'm, I'm going to stick a superstructure on this thing. Uh, not a big one, but I'm going to stick one on here. So there, I'm just going to... Just for my own convenience... Oh god, I'm going to burp. Ooh, there I went. I'm just going to stick here, and this thing doesn't have propulsion yet, but always do propulsion last, so you get the center of drag and mass and all that stuff uh, sorted. But I am going to do this, and... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we have a problem here. One, two, three, four. Let's see, you are stuck on something. Oh. Oh boy. Found you, you pile of crap. There we go. It's that. Ah, oh, you, you remember when that happened? You remember? I didn't delete everything, did I? Mm -mm. No worries, we're good. We are good, good, good. By gum, I'm gonna get this damn thing firing. This thing still is leaning in the water a little bit, but nothing a few hydrofoils can't fix. Oh, it loaded. Great. Yes! Okay, you, sir, you are not reloaded yet, but that's okay. Save that. And by gum, we're shooting Marauder. We are shooting a Dern Marauder. Wait for it. Okay, so while this thing is loading, what have we accomplished? We've managed to make a pretty decent boat. It's not as long and as skinny as I keep making boats. That's okay. Aha! There we go. So if I spawn in a marauder, what happens? I think some recoil dampeners might be a good idea. Or a PID to uh, correct it, because, yep, okay, stop. <laughs> I always forget about re- It does have recall dampeners, just clearly doesn't have enough of them. Okay, but yeah, that's good show. That is a good start for a cruiser. It went a lot better than I thought it would be, actually. Always 
save your vehicles, always save them. But yeah, that's gone pretty well, I think. This is, it's not that big, it's under 100 meters long. Yes, I know some people can say, that's big. Thank you for informing me of your standards. I don't care, I have my own. So in any case, uh, that's uh, our cruiser, part one. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build, let's finish our cruiser. Farewell.